My boyfriend hooked up with another girl but I'm not sure if it counts as cheating. My boyfriend, 28, and I, 21, have been looking for a threesome. I'm totally down for this, I'm bi and so is he. So it seemed like it'd be a great idea to include a third party from time to time. My one boundary is that nothing happens unless I'm there, or he checks in with me first. So today while I was at work he texted me and asked if he could meet a bi chick, 26, he had met online, and I said yes. About two hours later he texted me and said she's awesome and I should meet her, and I was excited. I'm glad we found someone cool. I got out of work early, went into our room, and saw a naked woman in our bed and my boyfriend was mostly naked. Turns out he had texted me asking if he could hook up with her, but I was driving and hadn't seen it. I wasn't upset about him even being with the other girl, she seemed super nice and she was very attractive. It just really, really hurt that he did it without waiting for me, or even to see if I was okay with it. He just sent a text, asking, and did it anyways. I feel betrayed, but should I? We had been looking into it and he did technically ask, it just seems like my answer wouldn't have mattered. It's bringing up so many insecurities that I thought I had worked through, and I don't know where to go from here. I don't want to break up with him, I love him and we're expecting a baby. I told him how it made me feel after the girl had left, and while I was shaking and holding back tears, I didn't yell or get angry with him I just explained why I was upset. He took it really badly and refused to eat, saying he doesn't deserve to eat. He hit his head and kept saying, I am bad, over and over. I got him to calm down and fall asleep, so now I'm writing this. I'm so emotional and I don't know if it's from being pregnant or because the situation actually deserves my being so upset, or both. How do I talk to him about it in a way that doesn't upset him? Or would it be better for me to just let it go and accept that I'm not enough for him and take what I can get? I'm concerned by his reaction here. That's not normal self-criticism, he's overplaying it to get you to tell him it's okay. Fact of the matter is you had rules and he broke them. He didn't wait to get your consent, and that's just not okay. And if he can't take your input or you're explaining how you were hurt without interrupting to make it about him, y'all need to do this with a mediator present. Get to therapy. So let me get this striot, he cheated on you and then, when you were really upset about it, he acted like the victim forcing you to calm him down. He manipulated you into making you feel bad for him when he is the one who hurt you. Take some time to really hink about how fucked up that is. Don't let his feelings invalidate your feelings. If this relationship is going to be salvageable, he needs to take responsibility for his actions. Breaking down and throwing himself a pity party is not taking responsibility. Also, if you feel that it is cheating, then it is cheating. Your feeling of betrayal is valid as he crossed your, already set, boundary. Hashtag that, s not a threesome. He cheated. It doesn't matter that you were discussing it or that he asked. You didn't consent to it. ETA. He deserves to feel bad about it. I don't know why he thought that was anything less than cheating. Up to you to continue the relationship but that would be a hard no from me. He cheated. You weren't there. Didn't know. Didn't consent. Don't be fooled. Also his reaction is definitely manipulation to make you feel bad. Why wouldn't that count as cheating? He knew what the rule was and broke it anyway. Let him scream, shout, and whine like a toddler all he wants. It isn't you that needs to keep him happy. He should be on his knees begging your forgiveness. Do not have sex with him again until he's gotten a clean STD test. Dump him. Anyone who acts like he did after he cheated shouldn't be raising a kid, even if you could get over him cheating on you. Sorry but this is cheating and he will do it again. Because he likes these stuff he can't help it, for him isn't cheating as long as you guys are sleeping with other people in this relationship. Either if you consent it or not, it's the same for him. And for his reaction, he did that only for you to forgive him and feel bad. He's playing victim. Ah. Dot his reaction isn't normal. It's fine to feel betrayed and it sounds like you handled it really well by explaining how you felt. His response is really. Manipulative. I don't know if that's the word I would use but it's the best I can think up right now. It wouldn't be better to let it go. You deserve happiness too. I would look into therapy or couples counseling. I wish you the best. You're pregnant with a man seven years older than you that cheated on you and wants three ways? His reaction to your being upset is weird and honestly just leave. Oh this sounds like an incredibly fucked up relationship. He cheated and now he is playing the victim. If you stay with him make him get tested for STDs. By the way, it isn't a threesome if you haven't even met the naked woman in the bed. Stop and think about this. 
He had sex with a person you had not even met yet. In your bed. Who cares if you agreed to a threesome? On no planet in the universe was this related to a threesome. He fucked someone else. You walked in. That is what happened. It's not really a threesome if there are only two people there. Also, sounds like his exaggerated behavior is meant to guilt you into forgetting it ever happened. He cheated on you. Consensual non-monogamy is consensual did you consent? You had rules, he violated them to get his jollies off and then you comforted him? That's a classic manipulator act of not allowing you to be mad at him. What a selfish, manipulate person he is. I'm sorry. Yo a threesome isn't a threesome if there's only two people. Sounds like your boy really just wanted to hook up with people other than you, and yes that's cheating. Honestly, I'm calling fake. This was a roller coaster and I want off. The refusing to eat thing is straight up manipulation and emotional abuse. Um so he's gonna cry now cause he cheated on you. Talk about manipulative. He broke the rules, you have every right to be angry and feel hurt. I would have told him he's right he doesn't deserve food law. If you feel like you're not enough for him you need to find someone else, cause you are enough he's just not smart enough to see it. He took something that was supposed to be a fun thing between you both and he ruined it because he wanted laid. Honestly find you a better man. My ex did that to me once. I tried to break up with him because I just found out he'd been cheating on me w multiple girls. So he broke down and started crying and rocking back and forth to guilt me into staying. When I finally did break up w him, I had to do it over text and then immediately shut my phone off so he couldn't try to guilt me into staying. It's emotional manipulation. He knew he did something wrong and that he was going to sleep w this girl regardless of what you said. He just wants to make you feel bad for what he did now. Yes he cheated. He asked, but he failed to wait for your reply. You didn't okay it before he did what he asked permission for. He took it really badly and refused to eat, saying he doesn't deserve to eat. He hit his head and kept saying, I am bad, over and over. Oh, honey. This is a bad sign. He's shifting guilt by self-harming. That's bad. Don't feed into it. Look for yourself. Everything he did is his fault. His reaction is to hit his head and say, I'm bad. That's the dude you choose to start a family with? Either he's a moron or he thinks you're a moron thinking that will get you to calm down. Good luck op. Why are you willingly putting your baby in harm's way by potentially having threesomes with multiple people? Yeah. This is why I think adding other people into a relationship never works out unless you have no feelings like a sociopath. It is cheating since he crossed a boundary for you. And especially if you're pregnant, I don't think this is the best way to raise your baby in the future with the baby's dad and other women being around. I'm not trying to be harsh just giving my opinion. And lastly he is manipulating you so that raises all the red flags in the books. My best advice would be to leave and live your life with your child. Don't let him or anyone else pressure you into a conversation about this before you're ready. I think examining your boundaries and how they were crossed is important. While you're taking time to do that ask him to examine the emotional cock block he pulled by needing you to support his guilt. I have no doubt you two will co-parent very well together out of a romantic relationship so leave that out of it when you ask yourself whether he is the right man for you. I don't understand did he ask you if he could hook up with her and did you say yes? Sounds like while he was definitely in the wrong, he legitimately thought you'd be okay with it. Maybe just have a good talk with him and make sure you're both 100% on the same page. But if this becomes a pattern, that's no mistake and breaking up with him would be a better option at that point. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes eh? In my non-clinical opinion, you set the stage, wrote the script, cast the actors, composed the soundtrack, and still did not like the movie. He took it really badly and refused to eat, saying he doesn't deserve to eat. He hit his head and kept saying, I am bad, over and over. You're having a baby with this guy? Lol. This is so silly. Of course he was wrong. Also this whole sharing partner thing will not last longer term. Don't expect anything except a distraction from this relationship. I don't think it will go that far. Oh my goodness. You guys had a clear boundary set and he crossed it. I agree with what everyone else is saying. It's not okay that he is exaggerating his emotions to cover up your own. You matter. Your consent matters. I don't think he cared about you in that moment and if I were you that would be a huge problem. Maybe you should take a break from the relationship and stay with family for a couple weeks and reflect on the situation without him there clouding your judgment. Why are you ranking yourself and your feelings and boundaries so low in this relationship? 
he did something going against the discussed rules of your relationship, on purpose that is. He asked and did not get a positive answer which would mean it was still the prior setup situation and therefore a no. He didn't care. He did this on purpose. And now he is victimizing himself and using your love for him as something to keep you quiet about this. This was not okay. He fucked up. He can take that pain for some time. This whole threesome idea was just an opportunity for him to cheat and get away with it. Sorry but that's the cold hard truth. This guy sounds manipulative as fuck. Asking whilst you were driving? Obviously you weren't going to answer. Then he turns it all round on you and makes you feel bad for him being a sleaze. Leave him. He's overplaying the whole, I'm bad thing to manipulate you. He's using abusive tactics to make you doubt yourself. That's not someone you can change. That's someone that continues to hurt and manipulate you until the end. WTF? It boggles my mind that this is even a question. He most definitely fucked shit up and then somehow made you feel bad for him. Just. No. This is absolutely cheating. I agree with others that his behavior was manipulative but I don't know if it's conscious manipulation or not. This whole situation is toxic, I'm sorry. Not waiting for your response, cheating, and that very unhealthy reaction. I'm concerned about the dynamic you're bringing a child into. Honestly he did a totally wrong thing and he thought it was alright. He didn't respect that fact that you said that you'd need to be there if you guys were going to have a three-way. I count this as cheating. He made a big mistake. He hit his head and said, I am bad, lol. Definitely cheating. Set some boundaries and most definitely encourage him to go to counseling. The way you described his reaction after you explained how you felt is pretty alarming. Especially if you all are bringing a baby into the picture by the way I am sure he was putting on an act for his lack of self-control, respect, loyalty. Talk to him sternly. He knew what he did was wrong and he's trying to play it off as you being mean to him. Calmly say if he does the same offense again there will be real consequences cause that is definitely cheating and going against all that you're comfortable with. In my perspective he used this chance to hook up with a random chick and use it as an excuse of your goal when in reality he did it behind your back. Yeah that's cheating. First of all, his reaction was only to make you feel like shit about being hurt. Secondly, you're pregnant and he hooks up with someone he just met? Am I the only one that sees this as risking your child's health? Even if he used a condom, sometimes condoms fail. So, to sum up, your boyfriend cheated on you, cause, yes, that's absolutely what he did, and he did it knowingly, since you'd made your boundaries clear, and now you are the one bending over backwards to appease him and make him feel better about the whole thing? I hope you can see why that's just not right. After the girl had left, and while I was shaking and holding back tears, I didn't yell or get angry with him I just explained why I was upset. Very V-E-E-R-R-R-Y mature of you. He took it really badly and refused to eat, saying he doesn't deserve to eat. He hit his head and kept saying, I am bad, over and over. I got him to calm down and fall asleep. This concerns me, but even more than that, you are expecting to have a baby with this person. Oy vey. Yes it does. You deserve better. First of all, a threesome is significantly different than what he did. You guys were discussing a threesome, not having an open relationship where either of you could sleep with other people. To me, what he did was cheating. He could have at the minimum waited for you to respond, but didn't. Him sleeping with someone else was not something you both agreed to, which to me, is cheating. Pregnant or not, that's a hard thing to get over. Please 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 read this, why does he do that? The reaction is not healthy in the least. It's manipulative at best and at worst sign of a bigger issue. He did something wrong and couldn't abide by a basic simple rule. But his reaction is not okay. You need to consider leaving. Kinda sounds like he thought, he checked in with you first. It's possible there was a miscommunication between the two of you when laying this stuff out. He may have misinterpreted what was okay and what was not. He should have waited for you to come home. But it seems like he wasn't trying to hide anything from you about what happened. Cheaters generally do and deny, deny, deny. If you are going to continue be very specific and certain in your conversation on what is okay and what is not, if you leave things unsaid he is going to have his own interpretation and it could be much different than you.